Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Dark Souls Remastered. Today we're in the Ash Lake and we want to go to that big ass tree. Now we gotta be careful because the Hydra can be a bit of a dick. We shouldn't need to fight them. We can if we want. They're a lot harder to actually face down here than they were up at uh, Darkroot Basin or whatever the hell that area was called. They do the same attacks as I was saying before. They can launch their head onto the land and then they can shoot out the jets of uh, water. I'm being a little reckless right now, but I think there's an item down here. I don't think it's of any use. It's a dragon scale, so I stand corrected. Those can be actually fairly useful. Now, you're gonna attack? Okay, we're good. I missed all of that. Oh my god, I thought that was a big-ass rat for a second. Come here, come here. Oh man. I like totally missed. I should probably put the, uh, the balder sword on. Yeah, these, this is actually doing like shit damage. This is gonna hurt. Alright, come and get me, dog. Now, I could get my bow on. I figured... Ugh, we might as well... Try... Killing them a little bit. I actually don't know if, uh... Are you doing your water attack? What are you doing? Okay, we did 500 damage there. Oh, you doing your water? Don't do your water. That hurt. Are you gonna continue to do your water, though? Well, that's no fucking fair. Alright, well... If that's the case, I'm just gonna come over here. Are you coming in now? I don't know, starts episode, what, 19? Just, like, freaking fighting the same enemy over and over and over again? Oh, okay, I guess we're not fighting the same enemy, but we fought the same enemy not too long ago. But apparently I can't hit them, thank you. <laughs> Nowadays, uh, I should probably... Like, what? Why can't I hit that neck? Is it me, or what? Okay, we got it. I was... I'm, I'm a little confused, because we were, like, inside the neck, and... We can't seem to hit it when we're inside the neck. Then again, I have to get closer, or else we ain't gonna be hitting shit. To be fair, I guess it hasn't been too long since we started fighting this enemy. Can you guys attack the land? Nice misses all around. Step a little bit closer so he can't hit us. There we go. Okay, where's the other heads? They're over here, right? How you doing on health? You're almost dead. I could break out my bow and start pinging him to death, but I don't want to. Oh, you hit me! That's surprising. I don't know if these guys respawn. I'm not gonna, like, wait and find out. Why over there, though? Over here, dog. You don't have that much health left. You have way little health left. I should just break out my bow. You're not wrong. You, you dead? You're dead. Alright. I know that was a riveting fight. I understand. It was... It was a while. Dragon scale 2. And 10,000. Interesting. I actually hadn't planned on fighting that guy. But... Since he picked a fight with me, I figured... 
well, I can't let him live. Like, it would just be kind of, it would kind of make me look like a wuss if that guy fronted me and I didn't kill him. It's the survival of the, the, the frontist or whatever the hell I'm trying, whatever joke I'm trying to make here. Dragon scale. So I think those things do respawn because I think you could farm them for dragon scales. I don't like the fact that I can't get over that hill. There did seem to be like a clam monster over here. There seems to be multiple clam monsters over here. Now, normally we don't see these guys until I think the very end of Duke Duke's archive. And I guess you could have like uh, pulled the the Hydra over here, and he would have been able to kill these guys with his water beam attack. I love the thrusting, like, power attack of this freaking weapon. 200 experience points. That is a giant skull. Yeah, that's not smart. Ooh, he staggered him. Ow! That hurt. Dick. Drop anything? No? That's a shame. I don't think I ever noticed that skull before. Alright, weird looking. This is a neat area though. I like this area. I didn't like the journey down, but this area, it's music, it's just the just the layout of it and the way it looks. It just it's definitely one of my favorite like aesthetic places. The Hydra is a little bit of a dick, but you know. They can't all be like super awesome fights, right? This, another dragon scale. Do not go out further than where I'm at, because you will fall. There's some Z fighting over there, but whatever. Do we want to go around, or do we go in this tree? We go around. No, we could go in. Let's go around for us. Is there another Hydra? I think there is. If there is, I ain't gonna deal with it. Let's go in the tree. I have a feeling there's treasure in there. I don't know if it's any good treasure, but we'll see. Ah, freaking basilisk. Oh, and the damn mushroom men. Dog, if you just left me alone. Ow. Oh, can't touch this. Can't touch this. Good, swing. Swing and I stab. How does that make you feel? Every time you swing, I do extra damage. Go ahead, do it again. Okay, you actually hit me that time. Look, I'm not a perfect man. I've never claimed to be a perfect man. Did you see how many times I died to the ghosts? Wouldn't surprise me if I died to you. Actually, at one point, I did die to these guys. Not often, but it was more of like, I don't, I don't always <laughs> level up my vitality or my HP as much as I really should. And then I get to like areas thinking I can withstand the same amount of damage as like I normally could if I had done that. And then things just one shot me. I go, oh, right, I'm an idiot. And then, then you learn, right? Yeah, you learn. You learn not to step in front of me when I have a sword, because then I stab you. Wait, is that it? That's not right. How do we get that item in there? Do I gotta, like, jump? No, there's a thing right there. I don't know how to get there, though. Is there another door that I'm missing? Thought that was a illusory wall there for a second. Illusionary, or whatever the hell it's called. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to get there. Oh, well. Never claim to be a master. 
I might have made that claim before. Or do I go up there? I think I can go up there. I'm like really cautious about going out into that water. No, that's not the way. Hey, buddy, how's it going? What are you doing in this hole? Is that your little hidey hole? Are you having issues? You're having issues. I should probably enchant my weapon. Ow! I thought you could actually attack with that. Jesus! Don't use in your bubble beam. I don't think these guys have a bubble beam. The crabs, though. The crabs, though, in Dark Souls 2 were actually my, like, bane for the longest time for some reason. Seemed like, will you stop actually attacking me? Oh, you run now! You run? You run. I ain't, I ain't happy about what that what just happened. In fact, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't have that much humanity left. I, I spent it all on the Dark Wraiths. But we gotta be cautious. We're out of that. This Cronus, you can go back and like stay at the bonfire. I know, but like, no. We're almost at the end of the area, anyways. I think. Almost positive. Yeah. So, I thought there was another Hydra here, but I guess I was just thinking of the first one. Uh, that dude, if you leave him alive, he will tr he'll chase you throughout the area, and then like, he'll jump over like land and stuff like that to get to the other side of water. It's kind of cool. And I kind of wish I didn't kill him to show you it, but, you know, oh well. You can look it up on YouTube. There's plenty of videos there. In fact, YouTube is like full of videos. I'm not sure if you know this, but you can find like a lot of things in, uh, on YouTube. There's a dragon, by the way. Roar, it's a dragon. Use a bonfire real quick. So this is the, what is, it, what is it called? What are you called? The uh, Path of the Dragon Covenant. I think if you, yeah, you get the Dragon Stone Head and a Dragon Eye. I think the Dragon Eye is you just, you can offer Dragon Skills here too. Uh, that allowed you, allows you to put down like your summon sign and you can be like challenged. But he also has a tail, and we all know what happens when you cut off tails in Dark Souls. You get a dragon greatsword. And this dude is like, he doesn't care. He, he does shit. He's like, fine. Fine, you can have my tail weapon. He doesn't even talk to you. Is he like a zombie dragon? Can't, it kind of looks like a zombie dragon from here. Now, I think we can use that, uh, Dragonstone. We not, yeah, I think we need to, like, remove our helmet? Yeah. Roar, I'm a dragon! How do we, how do we do this dragon thing? How do we do the dragon thing? No, that's not what I wanted. No, goddammit. Uh, let's see. How do I do the dragon breath? But yeah, this allows you to put that on your sign and be summoned. And I think if you win, you get like a dragon scale. I don't know how to do the dragon breath. I don't... <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Also, I think I'm stuck like this until I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, Violet's a dragon now. For a little bit. I don't think we can... Yeah, we can't equip anything. Well, that's a shame. Can we teleport here? Doesn't look like it, actually. Is that true, or does it just not show up because I'm at this bonfire? Anyway, see you later, dog. Probably never do any sort of covenant stuff with you, ever. I never really got too far into that, uh, covenant. Hey! Sigurd's gone! About time, but we can 
I was actually trying to think where he shows up next. I think we have to find the next part of his uh, his quest before doing that. Let's go to the Undead Parish. And we'll revert. We'll go down to the catacombs first. That's the easier path. Because you could have done the, the catacombs path like fairly early in the game. And the, the first boss down there is actually... He's actually the hardest boss in Dark Souls history, and no one ever makes fun of him. And I'm just saying that right now, just in case I actually die to him, which would be... Oh, I'd probably delete my save. Alright, so we got a plus five Divine Club now. So, with the Divine Weapon, as I was saying earlier, or last episode, um, we can kill the skeletons permanently now, and not have to worry about them coming back. There'll be a way to kill them without divine weapons, but you have to find, like, a necromancer before you do it. And that can be kind of a bitch to do, so getting a divine weapon is just easier. Just, like, straight up easier. Let's go ahead and get rid of this, and where's my club? You know, it's not a bad in terms of damage, and it's, like, the the starting weapon we, like, we had, pretty much. Um, so, it's good? I guess? Now there's some items over here that we could have gotten but like the first time we came to Firelink. I don't like doing that. Especially when I'm like, kinda, do, not doing a walkthrough, but like, doing a video that's actually made the show people stuff, at least a little bit, cause I've definitely missed some stuff. Cause it, it would've been kind of cheap in my opinion. Can you get up please? Because there's some really strong items over here. And that would have kind of broken the game if I got them. Scimitar, nice. Hey, with Quelog's uh, soul and a plus 10 scimitar, we can get, like, uh, a fairly good boss weapon. Maybe plus 5 scimitar. It could be plus 10. Let's go up this way and get one of the good weapons that we could have gotten earlier. It's a wing spare. It's not as good as the next one coming up. Ow, quit it. Damage up, uh, damage wise, these aren't that bad with the, uh, the upgraded armor that I have. If I have large Titanite, then I could get even more. Something I kind of miss about the future Dark Souls, like Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne, where you couldn't upgrade your armor. And, eh, I like the idea of being able to upgrade your armor. Because I like the way I look right now. I don't want to switch. Yeah, there's better armor. There's, oh, that's why I have to. There's a lot better armor. And to be quite honest, it's kind of... Not foolish, but... You caught me. Don't do that. No, no. We want this one down here. Hello. You parried me. I actually did not know you had a parry. But it's not a Rick parry, so I'm not worried about it too, too much. You... You guys are not skeletons of fun. There you go. Next. Come and get me, dog. Ow. That was unfortunate of me. Nope. Can't touch this. He can't parry you for some reason. There we go. Let's come over here and we can get the binos. And we can look at uh, New Londo Ruins. And it's drained now. I think that's New Londo. Yeah, no, that's definitely New Londo Ruins. It's right below us. Alright, sorry about that. Where was I? Oh yeah, I was going down to the catacombs. There's actually a shield up here we missed earlier. I mean, behind me is actually going to get up. There we go. Now, you can backstab you guys, I think. Oop. Oh, you're faster than me, you dick. These ones, I don't think, uh, respawn. Well, no, they do respawn, but, like, they don't get up after you kill them. Get a shield. It's not very good. I think that's the last of the items here. So we can just ignore the rest of the skeletons. They don't give that much experience anyways. I like the view from here. 
It's alright with the water too, but I, I just like the way that the environment changes. At least I think <laughs> I think you can see that with the water. Alright, this is the wait for it. Catacombs. There we go. Now those skulls over there. Alright. They're gonna explode. I was actually waiting for that guy to jump at me and hit me, but thankfully, he's dumb. And he killed himself. This guy not so much. I'm really sad <laughs> that that just happened. I got to realize that my uh, my strong attack, not actually a good strong attack. In fact, it's a leaping attack. Like, always leaping. What is this, that A, B, L, always be leaping? Oh, I knocked him too. Knocked him too. So if you get a good hit on them with a, I think a blunt weapon in general, they will just fall apart. Which is fine by me. So there's nowhere to go. Oh no. Actually, we want to come this way. Actually, I think I was mixing up areas. This is the way. <laughs> this is the area I'm supposed to be like, oh my god, there's nowhere to go. We want to go through that hole in the wall, though. Nice jump. Mine's better. There we go. You see by the experience, they don't give that much. Um, that's because you have to kill them twice. This is a necromancer. He's a dick. If you don't have a divine weapon, he's the guy that you have to kill to get the skeletons in the immediate area to stop, like, getting up. Now, I think the skeletons only get up twice. So, you know, you're good. Those guys don't respawn. The fact that we're right next to a bonfire kind of proves that. Um... Cause that would, that's kind of a dick move to put an a a enemy that just respawns here, especially one that flings fireballs at you right next to a bonfire, if they actually respawn, but thankfully they don't. Uh, that is going to open up another path up here, and of course because I arrested at a bonfire, these guys have respawned. Go figure, right? I wonder if I have enough materials to upgrade this divine weapon. I don't think I do. No, I don't think I do. You want to be careful walking by some of these because they will occasionally shoot out spikes. There's another necromancer. There's another dick. There's actually a nice little shortcut down there, which I'm not going to take. It does lead to another blacksmith. Um, I'm just really bad at taking it and I probably just die. Actually, is that the area I'm talking, thinking about? That might be the area I'm talking about. No, well, kind of. Will you stop with the fireball, please? It's kind of, kind of not cool. Don't attack that guy because he's a dick. That Perry stance. Did the rock actually just block my club? That's not cool. Don't, don't drop over there. Come here, come here. There we go. We actually get hit by that skeleton. Kill that guy. Don't attack me. I thought you bat. Ow! Will you stop with the freaking things, my bobs? Don't die. I like how I still scream like a girl, just a normal girl and not a dragon. I would imagine if I had the head of a dragon and I got stabbed, I would be like, Roar! I'm, st I'm like, not really a dragon, but I have the head of a dragon. Who is firing arrows at me? I hear you. I don't see you. Down there? Or up there? Either way, it's very rude. Nice, nice recovery. Nice combo, too. So I was about to be very mad that you continued that combo. I'm gonna go up there in a second. <laughs> There's another one over there. I like your roly-poly attacks. They're... They're annoying. Oh, I got hit by an arrow? Who dares hit me with an arrow? 
So stop dodging me. You have no tendons. Every time you move, you should fall apart. Grab this. Uh, Lucerin? I don't really know. It's a pseudo like spear halberd thing. Halberd? I know I mispronounce it. And it's not intentional, too. I've been calling halberds halberds for like ever. And I've just never really fixed it in my brain. Falchion? Cool. I don't think this is the way we want to go. No, this is a dead end. Where's that archer, son of a bitch? I got a club with his name on it. There he is. Nice freaking raiding attack. Two for one special, baby. Ooh. A piece of candy. Alright, so that's a bridge. Those are exploding skulls that the slime monsters actually spawned before. They do kill the, the skeletons, which is great. Hi, you're really like. Huh. They apparently aren't a divine attack lower up skulls because these guys respawn. Pillage the body. Thank you, Scimitar. No, sometimes when I've played Dark Souls in the past, I would always buy Scimitar from the Undead Merchant, even though, like, I rarely ever use it. Because just in case I wanted that, that Quaylog boss weapon, those are the spikes I was talking about earlier. Hey, we backstabbed him. Good. I, I swore we could earlier, and I was kind of surprised when we hadn't. But, yeah, it's like, I always get one from the merchant just in case I'm going to actually, like, get that weapon. Now, nine times out of ten, never actually use it. Or get the weapon. Um, and it's kind of dumb of me, because those skeletons down here, they regularly drop the freaking scimitars. And I think you'd use the felshin as well. So with that, the bridge will have moved. Now these guys... Thank you. May I have another... You guys gonna come? Oh, you're doing your rolling attack. That's a shame. Can you... Oh, man. Goddamn freaking... Yeah, okay. Ow. Please just drop off the freaking... Okay, you're dead. You're also dead. Drink up. There's going to be a bonfire coming up, so don't worry too much about that. Ow. Hi. Can I backstab you? Thank you. Now, these guys can drop their lanterns, but there is another, like one that guarantees drops the lantern in the near future. Oh, do I want to go that way? Uh, kind of? I mean, we might as well go that way, right? Yeah, we should probably go that way. This leads to some treasure. I'm kind of low on Estus, though. We'll worry about that next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you end my video, so I can check out some of the content and see if it's true liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day.